going on, Wolfpack Nation? Thank you so much again for tuning back in here for part two of our interview with former NC State running back Tremaine Stevens. So, again, uh, if you haven't checked out part one yet, make sure to go check that out. Again, we talk a lot about uh, uh, his, his, his company with ADS, talk about um, player development, talk about recruiting, um, you know, and even Tory Holt a little bit as well. So make sure again, if you haven't checked that out, make sure to go check it out. But um, also to make sure again, if you have already, make sure once again hit that subscribe button so you're notified whenever we release new content. Give this video a like to really help us out, and also to give us a follow. It's up you talk now. But jumping right back into it, Jermaine. So so one of the first things I wanted to talk about is uh, you know I, I I still remember this to this day. I know we were talking a little bit before this interview, but uh, you know I, I still remember it was either while I was a football equipment manager was, or it was right after, but you would come in to, to the football team and spoken uh, to the team. And basically your message from what I remember was basically that, listen, you know, me being a former football NC state football player at the end of the day, you know, I have invested interest in, in how you guys perform each week. Uh, like, so, so if, if you, if you lose, I have a bad week. And, and if you win, I have a good week. And I love that message just because, again, it really just sells on, on the fact that, again, that, that the Wolfpack is – it's not a like a four-year commitment. It's a lifetime commitment. You know, once you're in, you're in. It is. So, you know, I mean, it, it's uh, – you know, just – it's a great message just even to this day. I think that sometimes, you know, players can kind of take for granted, you know, that, that, you know, that, I mean, the, it, it is a blessing to, to have this opportunity, but you know, it's a blessing then day that every single day you could say that, you know, you, you, you know, you wore the red and white and you represent the state to, to the best right. of your abilities, which you definitely did. And you gave it all out, you know, and, and you can always say, Hey, I made an impact. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Well, you know, that the, I tell them like this, that same field that y'all are sweating and bleeding on, I literally sweat and bled on that same field, mm-hmm. right? And so it doesn't matter what time that you came through there. Um, you always feel as though you are an invested piece in NC State because of, of, of the fact that you played there and you gave your all and you pushed yourself. And so – when you see these guys out there doing the exact same thing 10, 15, 20, 25 years later, you know, you still actually realize that I'm still so invested in my wolf pack that when y'all play bad or when y'all don't have the best of days, I don't have a good week. My 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 wife will tell you, like, if we're and I I, I hate to admit this, <laughs> but I have this thing to where if we're down or if we're losing, I feel like it's my yeah. fault. So my wife and daughter knows I will cut the TV off because I'm thinking to myself, Can they know it. I'm watching. So if I cut it off, the and personal and so, like that's how much you're right, it's personal. It is a personal walk. It's like a walk with Jesus. It's a personal it's, thing, man. It's I don't like, know about that personal, you know, but yeah. Is, <laughs> not quite that personal because it's obviously yeah, this can't save right. your life but but um but it's but it's definitely something to where i think that us as former as as um as former players and even even as Wolfpack fans we have such a love affair with our teams because of the heartaches that nc state has been through mm-hmm. you know and when things happen, I'd be like, that's the most NC State thing that could ever happen. Like, how in the world only state. could we be? And so, only state, right? Only state. And so, I wanted them to know that, like, guys, it's not just y'all playing. Like, literally, yeah, we're here, too. So, mm-hmm. when y'all do well, I have a good week. When you don't, my week is crap. So, come on. <laughs> well, man, that's well, so it, true. Together, well, and, cause, and it just, it just really proves that, I mean, that – I can't even like wrap my head around how big of an of an event it will be uh whenever state football brings its first ACC championship in in so so many years like like not only just the the, the team the current team but last year's team the team from 5 years ago the team from 10 15 20 years ago like they'll all be just as excited as as the current team would be will be when they win it all cuz I mean again it it really does start from from you know, from where we came, you know, to, to where we are now, right, you know, right. and because like, that's why, like, you know, we say, you know, when we were talking about like NC state quarterbacks, like that, even like a guy like Jacoby Brissett, 
who maybe you know want to right. say be in the record books or anything like that. But then day he took a chance when Doran offered him to you know basically come join him at NC State and build build the program from the bot you know from the bottom and build it back up again. And you know he didn't have the most wins or the most passes, but he made an impact. He made a difference. The same thing with you know with like guys like Bradley Chubb. You know, same thing with you know right every single guy that came is as a part of this program. You know, so so it, that's why again it it. It, it, this is way biased, but there, I, I just, it's hard to believe that there's going to be any team that would be more excited about winning a conference championship than we will be whenever we win one. There's just no way. There's going to be many, many, many fans are, in the stands so. with tears in their eyes. <laughs> oh. Really, really. Listen, I, I, I went to our state, um, state versus, versus, uh, yeah, that other that team. team that shall not be been named. Team. Yeah. Um, and, Right, exactly. It's not to be named. And I saw tears in the eyes of people then with us being down by nine with, you know, less. Yeah. And by the way, there was there was a stat that said, I can't remember how many teams it was. You, y'all might know, but it was like yeah. there were like 460 something games where like teams were down by yeah. nine with less than two minutes left. Mm-hmm. You know how many teams won? Just one. Just one. Yeah. Us. Just one. Yeah. So, you know, I saw, I saw, so if, if that brought so much joy, you know, um, and again, you take a team like Alabama and, you know, they and their fans are mad if they if they if they lose a championship or if they lose a game. You like, made it to the playoffs. Like, yeah. who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like you're, y'all are just pompous. <laughs> that's just, that's just, but like, you know, we are th- this is this is the team that does that. They're going to have um, some people who are going to literally. Um, you're right. Have tears in their eyes, and I'm I'm not gonna I lie. Will be I'm one gonna of be one of them. Lay Lay was I'm one of the guys with tears in his eyes at the Carolina game you're talking up. about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Game. Oh, I was Clemson game too, off, wasn't man. it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, yeah, like yeah. It literally, like Clemson game too. Like literally, like you know, once I finished it because it's on YouTube. Once I finished my reaction, where I was screaming, I was so excited. <laughs> First of all, that we won, but also too, that we were storming the field. I mean, I just lost it. I mean, because mainly for two things. First of all, I mean, again, that was such a huge win for the Doran era. But second of all, mm-hmm. because, of because really just it just you know meant so much to me to see the guys buy in and put their arms around Chris Sean and, and say, listen, Chris, this game is not going to come down to you. This game is going to be on us. Right. You know, and so that just like because, again, because I, I, I mean, I have a, I have an I have a personal interest as well, because, I mean, I put a lot of you know, blood, sweat, and tears into, mm-hmm. into, you know, helping the team. And I mean, let me tell you, t- tons right. of like hundreds of, you know, if not thousands of, I mean, definitely thousands of hours of work and man hours, man hours yeah. exactly. Right. So, so, I mean, to see, you know, where this program has come, where literally like these guys are, are so close and these guys are winners now, like they know what it takes to win. They know that they have to have each other's backs. Like, you know, that just sh- like that game showed me that this program is a million percent heading in the right direction. Like, when have you seen mm-hmm. that? Definitely like that so. was just an unbelievable win. And so, so I mean, I just yeah, I I I lost it. I'm not gonna lie to you. So <laughs> but 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 anyway. As you should. Yeah, sure. So so but you know, Tremaine, you know, one thing is that, you know, obviously again, I mean, you know, right now I would say is one of the best times in terms of being an NC State football fan that we've had in quite some time. Not necessarily saying that we shouldn't be more proud or more excited any one time, but just that it's obvious that from, from what we saw last year where that this program, again, is heading in the up and up direction. But also, too, with, with seeing that so many players like the Tanner Ingles, the Peyton Wilsons, um, the Devin Carters, Thayer Thomases, like they're, they're, it's obvious that they're buying in that they came here to win a UCC championship, and and that's it. Right. And so that obviously all eyes are to next season, saying this is going to be the year. So I mean, you know, how excited are you really? Kind of, and kind of, what were your thoughts during the off season as you were seeing all of these guys commit when they could have easily, you know, you know, considered you know going ahead and going to the NFL? You say commit? You mean you know, like they, they their basically money, commit, you know? saying they're coming back? You mean? Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you know, listen, we are we are in in the era of this transfer portal mm-hmm. and stuff like that, to where guys are literally jumping ship. I look at Caleb Williams, you know, oh, he <laughs> he took the Oklahoma it, yeah. team, you know, and won all these games, 
and is in the transfer portal and is now going to USC. I'm like, dude, you could have been a legend. You know, you see these guys and what they're doing and how easy and how and 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 how it's just so easy to go from one team to another or for a guy to say, you know what, man, I have had fun here. I have enjoyed my time. I have an extra year, but I'm a, I'm gonna go ahead to the league man, and make this money. Um, it says a lot about a couple of things. A, it says a lot about Coach Dave Dorn. Um, yeah, yeah. And trust me, five, six years ago, people were yeah, like, we're out. oh, we need to. <laughs> <laughs> we're all yeah like he needs to be oh yeah you know it's, oh you mean him getting yeah yeah everybody who i've trained who has gone to state they love dave dorn and i know he might not have like the best outside personality when he when he's speaking but these guys realize that he is invested in them like he is he's a player's coach He's a player's yeah. coach mm-hmm. and not in that rah, rah, like he's a player's coach in that. Listen, I'm going to maybe say the minimum when I'm out here doing these things for, you know, for the Wolfpack club here and Wolfpack club. There. But when it comes down to you guys and what we're going to do here, I'm invested. You're invested. I need you. You need me. Let's get it. Let's go. Mm-hmm. And to me, man, that means a lot to me that these guys thought enough to say, you know what? I could very well transfer. I could very well go into the league. I could get hurt yeah. next year. I might not have a good year. My stock mm. might drop. Like there's no guarantees, right? No. But I'm willing to take that chance to invest one more year to see if we can make this thing happen, man. And I think that's the reason why fans like myself and like you guys are so excited is because we see the investment and we know that yeah, there's gonna be some good things things that happen. I, I'm I'm not even into like the NC State normal thing where it's like, don't give us any any yeah. credit. These yeah. preseason credit. top ten races. Like, I was like, oh, no, gonna... no, don't even show that to me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't don't do that. But you know now we have established yeah, a new, new culture, culture to where I'm not af- embrace. I'm it. not afraid of that anymore. Amen. Like the top ten, I'm I'm like you know what? Why not us? We're Why good, not us? Bro. Like we can we can do this. Why not? So, you know, I'm, I'm now five, six years. I'm like, no, don't top yeah. 10. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to finish. Yeah. Dead I jokingly, last jokingly, it's like, we see now, these man. rankings it's now. You yeah, watch it blow up week one against ECU. Yeah. Joking. But <laughs> yeah. hey, but, 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 I mean, you say, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I mean no. we talk about this, not to get too <laughs> um, prolong this, this point, but I've had this conversation with my dad before. I'm like, is there, there are some coaches that, you know, just really fit the school. Like I thought Ed Orgeron mm-hmm. was like, right. He fit LSU, man. <laughs> I really thought that. I think Nick Saban fits Alabama, but Dave Doran, he fits right. state. Like he's just like he's like the a fans coach. Like he doesn't. He's. I mean, he just. He seems like he's what? one of y'all. And he's a country. He's a country. He's a country boy at heart. Yeah, he's you know? one of he us. He's a, he got fishing right. hard. He made that quote: "Hard working, hand in the dirt." School made by blue collar. I mean, like. He just gets it, right? From a culture standpoint, and mm-hmm. if you and you said also that you know he may not be the best at speaking outside, but like I think he just kind of speaks his mind, and that I think right. that's benefited him yeah. too. That that's he's what honest. fans he's like that—that that he's not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Listen, we, when he said, um, "What did he say about the NCAA?" No clue at all. Um, when, <laughs> yeah. No clue I mean, at all. Everybody First across all, the country agreed with that. that. I mean, that was just. Everybody was That's like, genius. you know what? This guy, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> he, he's got it. But you know, when you when you when you look in the stands and when you see the people who were there to support the Wolfpack, it's not the hotty toddy, high and mighty yeah. like, crowd. This is, and I, I I don't want to say this in in a way that's going to sound, but this is this is this is the everyday average working hard american as you know that is family driven that you know loves their football loves their yeah. school um but there's no there's no pretenses there's no there's no there's no finger in the air as we, there's none of that like it's this is this is a hard working agricultural hand in the dirt build it from the ground up if you sow yeah, you shall reap mm-hmm. type of school, and I believe yeah, he's that. Man. Type of school. Amen. Yeah, and that's what, and that's what he doesn't have to be a guy who comes to my Wolfpack club and gives me 
a rah rah speech. Yeah. I don't, don't want to win the press I conference. I want to realize what he's doing for our program. Yeah, I want to win on the field, right? So if you win to me at this presser and then go out and lose, you know, eighteen to to forty seven. <laughs> I, I, I would like that <laughs> yeah. <head> right. Yeah. <laughs> but right. I'll tell you, yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, he just, I, think it's good I don't know. I, thought, I think he really fits the culture very well. I like, guess it's great. And you meant, um, I don't know. I can go on about that, but I'm really thankful to have it. I'm kind of curious yeah. about shifting gears here a little bit. Um, And okay. you can relate and you can kind of shut me up here if, I, or if it's not the right train of thought. But I am kind of curious more specific, like, because I know you're running back and I know you, you've been around the state right. recently too. Like, one, how, what are your thoughts about Bam and Ricky heading out? Mm-hmm. And then two, right. what are your thoughts about the guys we caught coming in next year? Because I can think of one guy in particular. This guy, um, you just see, I see, I haven't heard as much hype about this guy, Demi Sumo. Have you seen? I don't know if you've seen the guy. Um, I'm sure you maybe have, but seen yeah, a okay. bit of but like Jordan right. Houston yeah, yeah, coming in, everybody knows it's 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 his time. Um, what are your thoughts about right. those two guys leaving that, what, what, what they've meant for state and what we got coming back? Cause I think it's probably the biggest question mark. You've seen some articles float around running backs, probably the big in the running game in general, losing icky on the right, left tackle. Right. That's a big thing. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dressup Insurance Group, that has your whole world covered with agents in five offices throughout Eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need. Offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Jessup protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Jessup. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Um, Listen, I, I, can, I, can, I can be selfish all day long. And I can say that I would love for those guys to come back. At the end of the day, though, it 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 comes down to a personal preference of those guys actually sitting down with their families, with you know, actually Coach Dorn and saying, "Hey, you know, you have been an ambassador for our school, haven't gotten into any trouble. You you Get it right. You have been just great guys. You know, at some point in time, you have to be a little bit selfish and say, you know what, man, I, 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 I feel as though I've done everything that I can do here. I really want to go on and see if I can take care of my family. Mm-hmm. And I have absolutely no qualms about yeah. that at all. Um, you know, I, I see these guys, <clears throat> A, from another selfish standpoint, you know, they are getting kind of close to my third place. Ranking, <laughs> so I was kind of happy to see them go as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah closer, easy now. He doesn't, but, doesn't look no, too but, good. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. do too well now. Um, I love you not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I need to come by the yard yeah. short if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but, but uh, you know, these guys, they got to do what's, when mm-hmm. it comes down to it, is in the best interest for them. And I think that the reason why they can go and the reason why they can leave and and um and go and do the things that is because we have a good stable of guys that are that are that are here. We got a we got a class that is coming in that is is a uh, is 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 amazing in the two guys that you mentioned. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's going to take. Would would we obviously much rather have Bam and Ricky? You know, guys who are truly experienced and have you know been at the highest level and played in those games. Of course, we would. Sure. But there's nothing like the unbridled type of and enthusiasm of these young guys who are coming in and they're trying to prove themselves to not only Ricky and the BAM, but to the Wolfpack fans as well. And I'm telling you, those guys can be as hungry, if not hungrier than the guys that are already there. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it really being a big thing um, where it may come down is, you know, those times where we need that really solid yard that we got to get. I mean, who don't want to turn it, turn, who don't want to actually turn around and just hand the ball off the band? That's yeah. a that's a yard waiting to that's happen cool. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it's it's just uh, it's one of those things where I think you know guys will guys will make it happen. And again, the culture has been established. So guys, yeah, Jordan Houston said uh, he was like, you know, I mentioned being hungry. He said my goal is to get a thousand yards, just like the other guys have, have kind of seen yeah. the past. And Jordan Jordan yeah. Houston is like a really 
I mean, he's a really good running back. Everybody thought he meant he could be starting for some team somewhere else. It's kind of a scat back mm-hmm. kind of thing. But right, you mentioned other guys like yeah. I, I and I said Demi Sumo I, again. It's a guy I've heard, you know, the team preseason during the season, now postseason. No matter what side of the ball, my it's staff, they had hyped up this guy. So maybe he's a guy, but there's Delbert Mims. He's another guy who's more of like a Haas right. kind of running back. I'm, I'm going to just plow you over. Mm-hmm. Showed a little right. good in the spring game more of a last year. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I'm excited about it. I was just, I was just curious from your perspective, being a running back, what your thoughts were. But that, 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 that's cool to see yeah. that. And I think with Ricky and Bam, it's like, shoot, yeah. well, yeah. I mean, I would like to have him back, but we get it. It's all good. Right. But, like we, we, we. We understand, man. Like it's it's uh, 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 when guys come in, every guy, every single guy who goes D one and stuff like that, they are literally thinking, "I'm trying." Like, yes, I want to play well, but in the grand scheme of things, our overall goal is to try to get to those three letters. Yeah. You know, our overall goal is to try to make For it sure. to the NFL. Mm-hmm. And 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 so you know, if you have that chance again, barring injury and all that stuff, um. You got to go with it. And those guys are hot right now. Like yeah. They are actually coming off of a 10-win season, a team that played a lot of games on TV. These GMs are, you know, actually watching these games. You know, State is a good team. You're kind of in yeah. the talk and stuff like that. So I, I – yeah. Especially at the running back position, which, you know, is, is probably on the shorter end of careers NFL-wise. It really is. Mm-hmm. You got to make the most of your opportunity when it when it comes. Yeah. These shortest and 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 literally you need to get in there. They look at hits that you mm-hmm. take as well. So I don't think that a lot of fans kind of realize this. It's like um, I was talking to my my, my brother who actually uh, played football up in the Citadel, and I was like, really, the best route to take is you know to red shirt, and then your next year to learn up under a good back, and then have like a really good season, and then just be out like yeah. that because. You know, the league says, okay, if you're a back that's been there for about four years, okay, you've taken 200 carries a, uh, um, um, a season or yeah. more, that's a thousand, car- you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's 800 carries that, you, that, that, Your body wears that you've down. taken. And now, when you exactly, when you get to yeah. us, that's well, that's so, what maybe Jordan you know, Houston could I, be I, like. Because you think about it, Jordan Houston has not played a ton of snaps, but. He he could be yeah, a right. guy exactly. this year, and he mm-hmm. everybody seems like he could. I don't know. I'm getting two in the weeds there too, but it's just yeah. uh, that's an interesting thought. That's a great point you made. Well, and because fresh and hungry, bro. Because yeah. one guy that maybe the I'm sure you probably know this name as well is Bryce Love. I think he's a perfect of example course. of where you know, like the 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 player that everybody wants the them to be, be, like meaning like all committed. It unfortunately hurt right. him. Where basically, I mean, he, his junior year at Stanford, he had a career year and was a you know Heisman finalist yards. and was un- unreal. And and he could have gone to the NFL, probably been you know a second or third round draft pick at least. And he decided to stay at Stanford. And then you definitely pretty much That's just never heard, never heard never heard his name again. Never. And it's yeah, like right. I don't I don't I think, even know actually, if he made it. I think he got picked up by the by the Redskins at the time, and I think the that Redskins. Was it. Yeah, and he played. A, it was a little bit, but then you know it just kind of fizzled now off. Now the commanders, so, you know, yeah. it's so it's yeah. Uh, so commanders. so it's like you know it's <clears throat> that's kind of the opposite side of the coin, where it's like you know yeah. maybe unfortunately he should have been more committed. But at the end of the day, again, these decisions are so tough, and 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 because right. because one of the things I want to kind of, kind of touch on as well is. One of the things I love about Jordan Houston, I love about Trent Penix, is those are two guys that I easily could have seen I even say Trent Penix, a year or two yeah. ago them saying, listen, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not really getting a lot of playing time. You know, I don't really see where I'm going to go, so I'm going to go elsewhere, you know. And, and But instead, they understood their role. They trusted the coaching staff. They learned. They developed. And look where they are now. I mean, I mean, okay. and, and they both have huge opportunities this season. And, you know, because because I've, I've always wanted to kind of talk to you, talk to you about this, Tremaine, because you're the guy that mm-hmm. that that's that speaks and, and, and talks to these guys on a normal basis. But I mean, I will be honest with you saying that with the transfer portal the way it is and with NIL the way it is right now, of course, it right. puts so much pressure on these 18 to 24 year, 24 year old young adults that they can make a decision mm-hmm. that can not only change their career, 
but their life in general. I mean, like they're, they're right. huge decisions, huge decisions, you know, that can make and break it, it, it. It's, you know, it may not be looked at much right now, but I truly do think like down the road, I mean, it, honestly, it's, it's a lot of pressure, you know, even though the kids may not look at it at, at the it time. Is. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot of pressure. And, and I, I think that it's, it's like, it's like just as much pressure on these coaches as well because yeah. if you have this guy mm-hmm. who is 18 19 years old you know and basically you're trying to keep them happy yeah like you're trying to keep because now we it's a it's a different athlete you know and i i hate to bring up my old school ways but it's just you know things are di- like guys guys can play all all dog on 12 games and play sparingly and then be like you know what i don't really like it here i'm going i'm going to transfer and and just and and just be out and that, I've had a good season. It puts a lot of pressure on coaches to almost kind of like keep kids happy so that they can stay in their program and then try to get kids deals and this, that, and the third. And that's why, you know, I, I, I just really think a lot of the program that we have, you don't have a lot of guys going to the portal. Like you don't have a lot of guys wanting to leave state because um, I, I just feel again, uh, again, we talk about, the culture of this program. This is, this is a, a different era. It's a different day and age. Um, and it's a time when, you know, the portal is being used at a truly unbelievable rate. And if you're not able to like maintain a relationship with guys to let them know that you are truly invested in them, they'll leave and they won't have a second thought about it. Mm-hmm. And it hurts your program. You can bring in other guys, but um, there is nothing like being in the trenches with a guy that you've known two, three, four years. And you look over and and say, listen, we've been in the same 6 a.m. workouts. We've done the same spring ball for the last three seasons. I know what you got. You know what I got. Like, let's go make this thing happen. We need this one play. Let's make it happen. As opposed to this kid who might have come to the transfer portal and you're like, I really don't even know who you are. So let's, right. uh, you know, let's try to make this. There's definitely something yeah, to that's do that. What I think yeah. kind of who the heck are you? <laughs> makes makes state special is that right? Who who, who are you? You came away from UCLA. Come on, man, y'all, y'all, y'all are. I, I, yeah, I got a joke there. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, but yeah. but 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 yeah, man, it's you know it's it's a different era, and these guys are having to, you know, make as as you said, life changing choices. At 18, like, yeah. I don't know what y'all were doing when you were 18 years old, but I know that I didn't have the mental makeup to make, like, choices. Like, no. man, over here, I have a chance to make a million dollars. Like, now, like, that would have blown my mind. Like, I would have, I would have, I would have definitely screwed that up. <laughs> For <laughs> sure. sure. So, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, kind yeah. of wrapping up to, you know, obviously, again, do want to kind of make sure we touch a little bit here on this upcoming season <laughs> here, because obviously, again, it's an exciting one that I know all of us are looking forward to. But so, Very you know, you know so. what are your kind of overall expectations um, uh, for 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 this coming year? I mean, obviously, AC title, I think, is is the easiest expectation, because that's really what this is all leading up to. But you know, what do you kind of have your bar at per se? Like, I mean, do you, do you kind of put your bar as like a certain win total or like beating certain opponents or is it just simply when they see championship, that's my bar. Like, you know, what's kind of, what kind of bar do you set for this team next year? I mean, listen, for what these guys have done and who we have that is coming back and what we have established, you know, I expect to win every Saturday. Yep. And that's my bar. Mm-hmm. Like that, my my go fifteen and no. My bar is <laughs> you know uh, uh, is is a is a win every Saturday. Now, with that being said, you know, I, I, obviously, I realize that there's levels to this, as Jay Z <laughs> said, right? Like there are levels to this thing. You can't just you can't just go from this ten win season to a national championship. You can, but normally there are levels to this thing. I would really love to see us playing in Charlotte. Yep next year and winning an ACC title and then from there getting into, you know, a major bowl. And then who knows, man, who, who, who knows what could possibly happen, but, um, Duke Oregon works some, some strings. 
yeah. on the playoff I'm committee. You, man, it, it, <laughs> things things work things work in a strange way, and I guess the good thing about uh, about this this season is that you know the previous seasons kind of ranked towards the bottom, you know. So, whereas in this season, you're starting off ranked pretty good. Mm-hmm. So as you win and possibly other teams lose, your chances of getting up there are a lot greater than if you start off in maybe 23rd yeah. and then got to make your way up to the 17s and 15s. So, you know, um, I just expect us to compete. Yep. Um, I expect us to to uh, to give the NC State effort every single play. Um, and then I expect us to win every single so game. So you uh, – I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to – Yeah, and have you, have you gotten a chance to look at the schedule? I'm curious. Okay, I have. I, I have. What are your thoughts about that? Because to me, I, when I look at it, <laughs> I I kind of like the way it's set up. I do. You know I'm not really. Maybe it's not in front of you for the disclaimer. It's not in front of you, but I'm just you know, I'm curious what your thoughts were. Right, right. Um, the couple games that I see as trap games, um, um. Are 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 ones that I think that as long as we stay focused, as long as we stay committed, we we can we can I mean we we can win them. Um, obviously, going to a Death Valley Clemson, yep. is going to be tough. Obviously, um, it's hard to win there. Yeah. They always have a hard time winning in Raleigh. Um, we normally have a hard yeah. time winning um, in Clemson. Um, and then of course you know I don't I don't know what Pitt's going to do I don't know obviously they um they lost Pickett so I don't know who they're going to pick up obviously Wake Forest is going to always always be be a tough go um matter of fact I don't I don't know Wake Forest if, yeah, basically yeah. they they're bringing um, a lot of guys so, back you know, next season too and we we do get them at home um but you know I, you mentioned trap games uh my, I think a litmus test that I would say is that ECU game game one on the road. They're gonna they're gonna tell me they're Super Bowl for us, uh, and then it is. Um, you know, there's a few games at the end um, that are gonna be tough, but um, I, I think the way it kind of sets up as well. You get Clemson earlier. It's your first ACC game. You got you got Clemson early last year, and you won against right. them. Um, I, I don't know. I, I I like it. I think it's not a lot of like we had like a stretch this past season where it was four out of five games were on the road. We don't have it that this season. Yeah. Don't have that balance for the most part. Right, um, right. So you know it'll be interesting. I was, like I said, just curious. It's a uh, and I think, but you know, in the, in April we got the spring game. You going to be there? Okay, I am going to be cool. There. I am. As a matter of fact, that is that is always normally about um um uh, the time of my my birthday. My birthday is April sixteenth. Oh, okay. So yeah, we right try right. our best to uh, um to get there for the spring game. So we we're definitely going to try to try to get there. My wife, my daughter, and I, and, and um, that's when my daughter gets a chance because you know she hears it from me that her dad was good, but that's when she realizes that maybe her dad was good because all of my teammates go, "Hey, now here's a good <laughs> yeah. one." I'm telling you, and so she goes, "Oh, okay." So it's not just dad saying that. Now it's that's like legit. Other yeah. yeah, absolutely. Carries more <laughs> absolutely. weight than dad, right? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, Tremaine. Well, again, Definitely first of all, so. I want to say thanks again so much for your time. It really was a pleasure having you on. And, uh, again, definitely look, look, you know, we'll definitely reach out to you again here in the near future, talk more and some more NC State football, right? So, uh, Let's go. um, but, but again, just like Megan said, looking forward to seeing you at the spring game and, uh, you know, definitely look forward to running into you, uh, you know, as we go towards going 15 and 0 this coming season, right? So that's, that's the goal. <laughs> Man, let us. Yeah. Let's go, man. Let's and, and listen. Every time that a game gets close, don't worry, NC State. I'm gonna turn it off. Good. And I'll turn it back. Yeah, we can all we can count man, you. Good. It's all good. You don't have to. Right, you don't have to worry about me. Love Love it. It. Part. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, well, thank you again, Tremaine. And, uh, and again, make sure uh, Wolfpack Nation as well to go get Tremaine a follow. Make sure to check out all all that he's doing, all the lives that he's touching at, 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 with his company ADS, and uh, and also too. I mean, hey, if you have any. Any kids, and I mean, so I mean, Tremaine, I'll let, kind of let you do like a you know a little shameless plug right here. I mean, can for any of our viewers that that want to you know check yeah. you out or you know have you know kids that are interested in you know getting quicker, faster, stronger. Listen, man, this is this is what I do now, man. I get a chance to work with um 
really athletes of, you know, really all sports, football, soccer, baseball, tennis, whatever it is for your child. Um, and I get a chance to help make help 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 kids to get faster, quicker and stronger um, in the Charlotte to the Gaston area up in Shelby into Rock Hill, South Carolina, really from all over, over the place. Um, if you get a chance, please just actually check out my website It is www.stevenspeed.com. Um, and it'll kind of tell you all of the programs. I think we'll probably put a link in our uh, thing so they can get to it easily. Yeah, too. we'll do that as well. We'll put a link in the description. Okay. All right, so thank perfect. you all. Go ahead, Stephen. Go ahead, Jermaine. And to, oh, and to very, 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 very quickly. Go ahead. Um, Wolfpack fans, I don't think that you realize what you mean to um, the players, to, you know, the former players, to the current players. We appreciate everything you do, all the energy that you give on Saturdays. We oh, cool. That's awesome. Thanks, Jermaine, for that. That's awesome. So awesome. thank you all, all as well, listeners, Wolfpack Nation, for tuning in with us for this awesome and fun interview. Hope that you all enjoyed it. Make sure, again, once again, if you haven't already, make sure, again, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and give us a follow Tuffy Talk now as well on Twitter or Instagram. But thank you all so much again for tuning in. And, hey, as always, good back, y'all. We'll see y'all soon. All right.